guys, one of these is Exo Primal at Ultra Settings, and the other is running with my Perfect Settings. Can you guess which is which? In a few seconds, you'll see if you were right. In today's video, I'm going to test my Perfect Settings at 15, 16, 17, and 18 watts. Oh, and at the end of the video, I'll show you how well these settings work at 1080p. You're in for a surprise. I'm loving Exo Primal, guys. I'm 50 hours in, and I'm still having a blast with it. Anyways, here I'm running the game with my perfect settings at 720p and 15 watts. And as you can see, it's running nearly perfect. High average FPS, low temps, and decent battery life, even in the most intensive moments. And here are my custom settings for this game, guys. I'm mostly setting everything to a mix of medium and high. I disabled motion blur because I don't like how motion blur looks. I also disabled FSR 720p because it makes the game look blurry and the game is already running at a decent frame rate without it. Alright, but now I wanted to test these perfect settings changing the power the APU operates at. I started by checking how much of a difference in performance we get if we set the APU to 16 watts. And we get a decent boost in average FPS without sacrificing too much battery life. So then I moved on and set the APU to 17 watts and I didn't notice much of a difference. I actually got lower average FPS for some reason. It could be the map I tested. The average FPS numbers I'm showing are after 10 minutes of gameplay and it includes high intensity battles and the moment where I just run around the map. Okay, now I tested the power level most of you guys like using which is 18 watts and in Exo Primal I still think that using 16 watts makes the most sense. Sure, on 18 watts you're going to be getting higher FPS when you move around the map but the average FPS aren't that much better when compared to using 16 watts. When we compare these results with every preset, we can see that my custom settings are getting similar FPS to the low preset, but with higher image quality. And as expected, the more power you give the APU, the less battery life you're going to get. 16, 17 watts seems to be okay compared to 18 watts. And now let's have a look at my perfect settings at 1080p. I'm on 18 watts here, this game looks really good at 1080p guys, these are actually the settings that I'm playing with. I'm using my custom settings at 1080p with FSR2 set to balance and the game just looks incredible. And as you can see it also runs incredible at 1080p. We're averaging roughly 40 FPS with these settings guys. And I'm getting around an hour and 20 minutes of gameplay on battery which is decent. Just look at how good the footage looks. Now imagine it on the ally screen. Okay guys, I'm going to leave you with this incredible 1080p gameplay so that you can get an idea of how the game performs at 1080p with my custom settings. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed already, please subscribe. Only 1% of you guys are subscribed to the channel. Well, I'm going to play XR Primal now. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Prioritize its defeat in order to gain the upper hand. The Carnotaurus is on the move. Pursue it. Summoning Pachycephalosaurus. Trigger Neosaurus defeat confirmed. Overdrive ready. Your individual scores will determine the strength of the upgraded dinosaurs attacking the enemy team. The total required score for a hostility upgrade has been achieved. The enemy team will now face a great dinosaur upgrade. The total required score for a hostility upgrade has been achieved. The enemy team will now face a greater dinosaur upgrade. Summoning Sniper Neosaurus. Nice Summoning Pachycephalosaurus. You're not going Data collation complete. The intervention period has ended. Summoning Raptors.
a sword cut. The enemy team has progressed to the final mission. Act quickly to close.